down the streets. We're just Chicago. going back in the other direction because we are hopelessly lost. Thank you for a GPS. We're the Jet Sisters. Jet Setting Sisters, Angie and Rachel. Traveling millennial twins with vastly different budgets on a mission to inspire folks from all backgrounds to pack a bag and see the world. Rachel's on a budget. But Ange has a little extra cash to spend. See how we tackle the same destination with two different bank accounts on The, the Jet, Jet Sisters. We made it to the Windy City. Hi, y'all. We are in Chicago freezing our butts off <laughs> and filming the very first episode ever of The, the Jet, Jet Sisters. Sisters. I'm going to be showing you around Chicago and showing you upscale accommodations, dining options, and activities. And I'm going to show you the same thing, but a budget-friendly option. We are starting off our weekend here in Millennium Park, which is Chicago's backyard. Yes. And did you really come to Chicago if you didn't take a photo with the mean? So let's go get that Instagram, then we'll start the tour. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go! So we are on our way to Hosteling International Chicago. We have our own private room and it is still super affordable and they have tons of free tours and food and activities and then you get to meet people and what's like more fun than that? And it's on Ray Ray's budget. It is. That's the best part. Walking down the streets. We're just going back in the other direction because we are hopelessly lost. Thank you for joining I see the sign. We're here. It's actually super close to the metro station if you go the right way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wanna check us in? Yes. I do after I take up all my clothes. Yeah. Okay. This is us. I think this is us. <laughs> okay, key card goes that way. Oh yeah. Wow. So I get the top bunk. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have bunk beds! <laughs> Oh, that's super cute. Oh, I'm sleeping already. See? I told you we could get an amazing room. It really is. Like, I am mad. So if you're staying in High Chicago, you can either book a room with other travelers, or like us, you can get a private room for just a smidge more. And this is actually my very first time staying in a hostel, but Ange stayed in a few, right? I've stayed in quite a few when I was your young and spry age. about High Chicago is they have events all the time. So tonight there's a hot dog taste test, there's a walking tour, and tomorrow is a free comedy show. Lots of free stuff if you're on a bus. Yes, you can literally stay here and have your entire week planned. I am hungry. Are you ready for lunch? I am ready. I'm about to take you to the best Chicago-style hot dog restaurant in town. Really? And it's in my budget. Okay, I can get on board with that. Sweet, let's go. So there's a few things you have to do when visiting Chicago. You have to take a photo with the bean, you have to visit Millennium Park, and you have to eat a Chicago hot dog. Hot dog! And that's what we're doing right now. Are you ready? Oh, yum. I'm so excited. Mmm. I've never had anything on a hot dog besides the No, me neither. Oh, I'm lying. I had macaroni and cheese on hot dog one. I usually just get a hot dog with ketchup and mustard, but this is actually pretty good. I have a really good one. Wait, no. Ketchup and mustard flavor on hot dog? Yeah, I don't really get when I put mustard on it. Ketchup? I don't know what you just said. Ooh, I am stuffed. How about you? Super stuffed. Awesome. Well, Ange, I hope uh, you're not afraid of heights. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Our, our next activity involves a little bit of a, a hike. What do you mean hike? A you hike. hike. A hike in the sky. You mean like in an elevator? Like an elevator. I can do that. So we're heading to Willis Tower. It's my budget activity. We're going all the way to the 103rd floor, and there you get 360 degree views of the city. From the top of Willis Tower, you can see up to four states. Wisconsin, Illinois, Michigan, and Indiana. Okay, now that we're here, I'm just like a little bit scared. Just wait. Oh my god. I can see our house from here. You don't think so? Not our house. 
house, but our house in Wisconsin. Grandma's house? Yeah. And over there is the neighbor's here. And the Magnificent Wild is just over there. Oh, wow. You're welcome. Free tour. Oh, wow. How did you know? How did I know? I thought this was my activity. <laughs> activity hog. <laughs> oh, there goes Ray Ray. Not going to look. This is fine. This is fine. Yeah. It's no big deal. Look down. Jeez, look all the way I down. I don't want to. Just do it. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. Great activity, Ray. Oh, I'm Are you glad you picked this? I'm glad you're having fun. Oh, aren't you so cool? Not afraid, huh? I am sweating. Yeah, no, it's scary. If you look down. That is more than 1,300 feet, and I, I can think you jump? Don't what if you jump? You can. You can. Yeah. Okay, well, just rub it in. Jerk. <laughs> What's going on right now, Ray? I'm like so sweaty because that was so scary. I have to take off all my clothes because I've got. No, that was scary. That was a little bit like more intense than I thought it would be. You just look down and there's nothing, and it's like, well, obviously you're fine, but are you fine? I don't know. Nobody else seems to be freaking out. I need to sit down. I need a water. I need a nap. <laughs> it's okay. You never have to come back here again, unless you do. What are you saying? I thought that was really fun. You picked another good thing. Oh, thank you. I was only scared a little bit. It looked a little more than a little. Now to hand it to you, Ray Ray, you did an awesome job planning our itinerary for today. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you had fun. Awesome. Um, would you believe it was all under $150? That is something else. That's amazing. Well done, you. Um, but I think we'll spend a little bit more tomorrow. My itinerary is going to be awesome. I mean, I'm ready as long as you're paying. What? Good morning. It's time for my day to start, so let's wake up Ray Ray. Hey, Ray Ray, it's time to wake up. <laughs> Welcome to the Ivy Boutique Hotel. The Magnificent Mile is right over there. The Navy Pier is a few blocks away. I picked this hotel not because it's the most expensive or the most luxurious, but because I love boutique hotels. I love the design elements, the soaking tubs. So let's go check out our room. I picked the Ivy Boutique because all the pictures I saw online were really cute and really designy and really feminine, which I thought would be great for a girl's trip. Um, also, I knew that it was a queen suite, so we would have two enormous, comfortable, fluffy queen beds, oh which I'm really excited gosh. about. Let's take a peek. Oh, oh, oh you're gonna love this, Rachel. <gasps> Soaking yes. tub. I love a good tub. How cute is this? Um, I need to sit in this Jetsons chair. That's fabulous. Man. Bring me my martini, Rachel! I have some power. You look like a Marvel villain. <laughs> you did okay. Welcome to Upscale Millennial Accommodations by Angie. And I love this, like, padded headboard look. <sighs> Can you hang here for a couple nights? It'll do, I suppose. All right, fancy pants. Let's unpack and go see the city. Yes. I really like the decor here. <laughs> so my part of this Jet Sisters duo is upscale millennial experiences. So it's not necessarily the most expensive dinner or the fanciest celebrity chef dinner. It's all about the experience um, and how you can kind of plus up the average thing that you would do. So we did the bargain version of the sky deck where you go up, you get to experience it, you take the pictures, but now we're gonna plus it up and we're gonna go have the best pizza in town as high up as you can get. Okay, let's go eat. have the entire sky deck at the Willis Tower all to ourselves. <laughs> I can't believe this. Um, book on a weeknight if you want the whole thing possibly to yourself. But there's Rachel sitting in our very own little ledge. We can see all of Chicago from here. It's a gorgeous crystal clear night and we are about to eat Giordano's Pizza 103 stories over the city of Chicago. I don't know how we got so lucky. 
when we were planning our trip to Chicago, everybody told us to eat Giordano's pizza and we were so sad because we weren't gonna have time to until we get up on Skydeck and find out that's whose pizza it is. And it's so good, it's so thick. I've never had any kind of pizza like this and I thought I'd had Chicago pizza before and I'm just gonna shut up and eat it now. It's so good. <laughs> it's I'm really good. so happy. <laughs> This is just insane. Come on, let's go. I don't want to. Come on, let's go, Frank. Please don't make. Come on, come on, it's fine. Come on, Frank. Look, look, it's fine. It's fine. Nothing can go wrong. I'm scared. Come on, baby. I'm afraid. We're dancing. We're dancing. Oh, you just do your thing, girl. Disco. I must say, your dining activity towers over my dining activity. And now we are on our way to the CIBC Theater, which, I don't know, maybe you've heard of a musical called Hamilton. Okay, calm down. Basically, we have no chill right now because this is our first time seeing Hamilton. We have been waiting for so For long. years, we have basically planned our whole trip to Chicago around my luxury choice for experiential thing you can do as a millennial in Chicago. And we are so excited. And let me just give you, let me just show you how close we are. It's right there. Oh, I'm about to be in the room where it happens. That's and good. unfortunately, I can't take you with me. So um, we don't want to upset our our future best friend, Lin-Manuel Miranda, who, will, never do that who is too. going to write the Jet Sisters musical one day. He just doesn't know it yet. Um, so we will catch you on the other side of the war. Oh my God. We're not okay. <laughs> We're mildly undone. I, you'd think our last name was Hamilton, but it's not. <laughs> I was fine! It was so good. Until the end! It was everything. It's when he went up the It was like exponentially better than we thought it was gonna be. American history is very important. <laughs> Probably my favorite musical ever. I'm not okay. It's so. <laughs> I've never seen Rachel cry ever at, during anything. I feel bad for all the people next to us because they were like, yeah, oh, are you okay? Like, are you? <laughs> Alex, American history is so special. <laughs> the Federalist Papers were such a big deal. Since we couldn't show you Hamilton, we will now be reenacting the entire play from start to finish. Lucky you! Um, ready? Bum, 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 bum. How, How does, does it? it? It's only a matter of time. Wow, that was, that was great. I can't believe it's like after midnight. Yeah. That was I'm glad we did it though. We got we made a lot of tips. Yeah. So I gotta say, Ange, you planned a pretty amazing day. I did, didn't I? I will never ever get over seeing Hamilton for the very first time. And Pie in the Sky was incredible. There was nothing else like that, I think, anywhere. Um, and I really can't wait to sleep in this cozy bed with these cozy sheets. So all told, the day cost nine hundred dollars. And I'll bill you. What? Thank you for tuning in for the very first episode of the Jet Sisters in Chicago. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do all the things so we can keep traveling. We love doing this yes. and we need your help to keep doing this. So um, we will see you for episode two. Bye! Bye! Don't film it. I'm filming no. it. No! Come on, just don't be such a baby. You got this. Are you filming? Yep. Oh, it's cold. Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> Get all the way on it. I don't want to. Just do it. I don't want to. It's not scary. Okay, I back up. I just don't think about the steps. It's not a big deal. It is. If you look, when you look down, everything's over. Okay, I just can't. I keep looking down. I just can't. Don't look down. Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs>